Are you a car hauler? Do you haul cars on the side or for fun or for money? And you're looking to buy a used trailer but don't know what to look for? Watch this video. We're going to tell you everything you need to know from A to Z to get the trailer and make sure you get the right one. I'm David from HotshotDave.com. If you're looking to make your business stand out from the trucking industry, be different, be professional, make sure you hit the subscribe button, hit the bell to be notified when I do more videos like this or any other car hauling content. So, now car haulers are, they're abused. You know, they they take a, a lot of, a lot of abuse. Um, a lot of people do not know how to use them and they overload them quick. And when you overload a trailer, it doesn't take long to get cracks in it. Um, I've seen, we're in 2020, I've seen 18s and 19s with cracks in them. I've seen 2020s crack after just a few months. If if they are not loaded properly, secured properly, or just overloaded, there can become problems very quickly that will cost you a lot of money. So you, you have to really do your due diligence when looking at these trailers to make sure you're going all the way through it and you're checking everything. So what I do is I start at the top Start with the top of the trailer, go to the front, work my way back. And if you take any amount, any shortcut, and miss anything, it can get expensive. Because, you know, you, you can't just put a bolt in it and hold it. It may need to be welded, you may need new axles, you, you may need a new, whole new deck. The frame may be bent. There's so much that may be wrong with this trailer if you don't look at it properly. If you have a guy that buys a 7,000 pound car trailer, oh, but he 10,000 pound skid steer with it every day, then you're gonna have a problem because it's overloaded. So what I do is I start at the top, I look at the wood, I look at the frame around it. I look at the brackets. You want to make sure none of that is cracked, bent, broken, anything out of the ordinary that you're not expecting. Now, if you get an older trailer, you may get one that's got like some cracked wood, maybe some missing boards, stuff like that. And if it's older, that stuff kind of makes sense. But if you've got an almost brand new or year old trailer and the wood's already broken, I want to know what's going on in that trailer. How many times has a forklift dug into that trailer and pushed and drove and gouged it? Because whether you've got a car trailer, they may not be hauling cars. They may be going to the Home Depot or the pipe place or the rock place or the metal place. And some of them loaders, they can't load. You know, they could be going to Copart and IAA, and I can't tell you how many times my trailer has been hit by a forklift because they don't pay attention. So you want to make sure all that's not bent or cracked. Now, if there's problems at the top, you, you may be able to get away with it. I would just try to get some money off of it, and I'd still buy it, knowing that I'm probably going to do a little more damage or I can put the wood on myself and then you want to go to the front as I said um, and now these you can get these trailers with what's called surge brakes electric brakes or electric over hydraulic and you want to make sure you know what brakes are on here even the surge brakes they will be electric so what that means is when you have the trailer on and you hit your brakes and the trailer moves, that's when the brakes apply. Not when you push the brake and it applies to stop the truck. Once it pushes against the truck, that's when the surge brakes start to work. I don't like that idea. That's more of an older school, older style, so you probably won't find it on the newer ones. 
But if that's there, you want to make sure that's right. Because if that surge protector for some reason doesn't work, or not protector, I'm sorry, the, the brake controller, if that doesn't work, or it's cracked or broken, you may have problems down the line. Um, and Lord only knows how long it's been broken, and if there's any damage done and they've been running this trailer with no brakes. Then you want to check your your connection, whether it's a fifth wheel, whether it's a gooseneck, whether it's a, a, a ball or a pindle. You want to look at that very well. You want to make sure it's not bent. Like if it's a if it's a ball, like not a ball, if it's a, a bumper pull, you want to make sure that they didn't overload it and bend it. I've seen them bend. If it's a gooseneck or a fifth wheel, you want to make sure it's not cocked back because if they were hit from the back, then it could have slightly tweaked it just a little bit. It does not take much for these trailers to get out of square. And if you get that trailer out of square, the whole thing is trash. You know, you, you can't make no money with it. You can't go down the road with it. You've just got a three, four, five thousand dollar yard ornament. And that's the last thing we need. That's not why we're buying these trailers. So once you've checked your hitch, your balls, make sure the lock's there, you know, make sure it works. Make sure when you lift the lever, if it's a uh, a bumper pull, that that lever works. Make sure the gooseneck latches really good. Like you don't have to have it hooked up. You can look under there and you can see if it's latching or not. You know, if it's a fifth wheel, you wanna make sure it's not been run with no grease or no, no plate. You wanna make sure it's not gouged up under that plate or it, it didn't gouge into your, uh, into your pin. Because if your kingpin's got gouges in it, it's not gonna set right in your truck. And it's not gonna ride right and that's gonna be your problem. So, once you've checked the front, now you wanna climb underneath. And, and I know it, it gets, it, it's a lot of work but you're saving yourself a lot of money. You wanna climb underneath, check all the braces, just look at the welds, make sure they're not uh, cracked. It doesn't take much to crack a car trailer. You think about it, you've got a trailer and you've got a car going up on it like this, bringing it down. Go like this, bringing it down. Every time you load it, it's doing one of these, every time. Maybe not as extreme, but it's flexing and moving every time you load it. So make sure that again, it wasn't overload and broke because that can be repaired, but you don't want to get something that's so far out from being repaired that there's a gap or it's bent or shifted. So you want to go underneath that and make sure all of that is good. And now on the side, a lot of the longer flatbeds, uh, you see this a lot on the semi trailers, but I've seen it also on some of the, like the, the PJs and stuff like that where the deck actually has a little arch and then when you load it, it'll go flat. Now that's more of like a, a freight trailer, but you wanna make sure if it's supposed to have the arch, it does. Um, and now while you're underneath of there, looking at everything, look at your axle. Your axle is also supposed to have an arch. It's not supposed to be flat. If it's flat, it's bent. And the reason it's supposed to have an arch is because again, when it's weighed down, it, it flexes out a little bit. And that puts all your tire on the on the, uh, on the the ground evenly. Because if you start with the tire like this, flat, and then you put weight, now it's gonna shift like that. <clears throat> now, and it's okay to run them empty like that. That's with that arch, that's how they, they do it that way. So now once you see that, you want to know what brakes you have, what trailer or what axle you have, 8K, 7K, 6K, 3K. Now anything above a 3,000 pound axle has to have brakes on every single axle. Every axle's got to have brakes, guys. So don't let anybody bamboozle you or fool you. I've seen hot shot truckers that come out here, they start hot shot and they don't even know the rules and they don't have them. So make sure you have brakes on every single axle. Make sure your U-bolts are tight, your, your springs aren't cracked, 
your hangers. Make sure all the bushings are good. Like I said, there's a lot that goes into this stuff. Make sure all of that is good and tight and secure. If not, you could still buy it, but make sure you negotiate enough to make them pay for it. Um, then you wanna make sure your wires are connected. If your wires are not connected, then there may be a reason for that. It may be locked up, maybe they quit working or something. You just wanna check it, make sure they're hooked up, make sure they're like they're supposed to be. And if you have an electric brake trailer, you can look in the back and you can actually see how much pad is left. Um, and you can do the same thing if you have electric over hydraulic. Now, if you have electric, some of them you can see better than others, but you should be able to see in there. And now, while you're there doing that, obviously get from underneath the trailer, jack the wheels up, hook a truck up to it, and make sure the brakes work. Now, the reason we do that is because if you have an empty trailer and you pull it and you hit your brake controller and it stops, you really don't know how many brakes stop that truck. It could have been three, it could have been two, it could have been all four. Because if it's empty, it will stop most of the time. So jack them up, spin them, hit the brakes. If they at least stop it, and then you can't spin it, you can tell the tension and you know they're working. If three of them do, but one don't, you, I would recommend putting brakes on both sides of that axle. Do not just do one. And now look at your tires. What's the tread like? What's the wear like? If it's cupping and wearing crazy on the inside, you may have an axle issue, you may have a bearing issue, you may have a spindle issue. Um, so make sure them tires talk to you. They talk, 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 talk. They give it all away. Give it away, give it away, give it away now. You just gotta know how to listen. You listen very, very quiet. Very, very good, my friend. Very good, you listen. And you learn and you get it. So, now, you've talked to the tires. They told you what to do. So, you're good. If the tires said, we're Gucci, baby, then you're Gucci. Now you wanna check your lights. You know, make sure all your lights work, your turn signals and all that. Trailers have a tendency to be a nightmare on electric. Well, I'm telling you right now, if you bought a trailer, if you buy a trailer, I don't care, brand new, old, what, you better get a PhD in electrical, boy. Because it's going to happen to you and it's going to get you. So, at least make sure you start with a good one. Make sure they're not all chewed up. And now, tall tail telltale sign is a lot of them have the wires in the frame and in the axle if those wires are outside the frame or on top of the axle I would take that as a great thing because they've been replaced probably and you shouldn't have to worry about them so now if you do that and you make sure everything's good when you have it jacked up but kind of shimmy it and spin it and see how it spins you know you'll be able to hear if there's a bearing issue um like the 7k axles you want a click but not a clank you don't want that thing like super duper tight you do not want it that tight so if you hit it and it goes click click you're okay but if it moves a little more and goes clank 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 that's a loose bearing you can a either check your bearings or you could be just plan on buying all new bearings, um, new races, maybe even a new hub. You use it to your advantage if you want to. You know what I mean? This is doing this. I want to replace it. I'm going to take X off. So you, you want to make sure everything works like it's supposed to. It's not broken, you know, cracked, none of that. Um, so now while you're doing this car hauling thing, or this freight thing, fuel's gonna get expensive. But if you call Victoria from RTS, she can save you up to $2,500 a month. $2,500 a month. What if I told you you could get three cars without hauling three cars? You get paid for them cars without even touching them, hoss. You just gotta call Victoria. Now, if you need your money quick, that's when you call Howard from JD Factors. Both of their links are in the description. Got a website down there that you can 
go to the RTS page, put your info in, and Victoria will get a hold of you. Uh, Howard's phone number's down there. Hit him up. He'll get you factored, get you paid within 24 hours. But if you do it on a Friday, you get paid on a Monday. You do it on a Saturday or Sunday, you get paid on a Tuesday. Pretty sure that's how that works. So, when buying a trailer, it's very, very, very important that you do your due diligence. Right? So, if you like this content, this video, it's told you what you need to know. Do me a favor and hit that like button. Then you can hit this video right on over here to get a little bit more content on car hauling. Teach you how to do it successfully. Make money. And don't overwork yourself. And I will see you on over here. Peace.